And now to Florida tonight where parents are outraged after police entered a middle school without warning with what looked like guns drawn. Students, some texting their parents for help. They were terrified. But what they found out next has many angry tonight. It was a drill. Here's ABC's David Wright. Lockdown drills in schools are now almost as common as fire drills. This is a drill we need to lock down. The kids ordered to huddle in a corner, preparing for that nightmare scenario. It's kind of scary, huh? Kind of, yeah. It's usually made clear to the kids it's only a drill. But not at this Florida middle school yesterday, when police with AR-15 rifles like this one burst into classrooms. Children and teachers believed they were really under attack. We actually thought someone was going to come in here and kill us. Seventh grader Lauren Marino frantically texted her mom. I'm panicking because I'm thinking that it's, you know, a legitimate shooter is coming. Cherise Tate's son was terrified too. His dad started racing to the school. It makes me upset. My husband almost got a ticket coming over here yesterday. He was doing 130. But there was no school shooting. This was all just a drill. Today, the school apologized to parents. Any drills that are conducted from this point forward will be without firearms being displayed. But school officials insist the element of surprise is important, noting, unfortunately, no one gets an advance notice of real life emergencies. It's very scary. You know, you hear all this horrible stuff on the news, and then you think it might be happening at your child's school. The question is, how best to prepare kids without scaring the life out of them? David Wright, ABC News, Denver.